All right, Troy, thank you so much. Uh, so let's say you have your resume, you got the appointment for that job interview, but you're thinking, I need something to wear that's going to look smashing so I can land this job. Ty Brennan is live this morning at St. Joseph the Worker, and we saw all those clothes behind you, Ty, and there's, they have such great resources for people looking to land a job. Celeste, they really do. This is an incredible organization. You were talking about the resume. If you don't know how to do a resume, they'll help you get it done. They are such a great organization. I'm joined here with Brent. Brent, you said you guys have been in the Valley for 33 years. For people that maybe aren't familiar, because you kind of said something that, that caught me off guard. You said you're kind of the, one of the, what'd you say? The, the organization. Most impactful into organizations you've never heard of. That's exactly right. So, so for people that don't know, uh, tell us what is St. Joseph the Worker? St. Joseph the Worker is an, we provide employment assistance to the homeless, working, poor, and basically anyone in our Valley that needs a job. Because I tell folks, you lose a job, you need a job, whether you're making twelve fifty an hour or $100,000 a year, you're in crisis. So we want to be here to help support that process of getting you back, your feet back on the ground again. So let's talk about that process, because you said that you come in here and you will help these individuals do whatever it takes to land a job. Yeah, we have a full spectrum of services from starting with a resume. We have some wonderful employment specialists that support our clients, help them with their resume, do some coaching, some confidence building. Because during COVID, a lot of people had to shift. They had to shift their focus, and we have folks that were in the food and beverage business that had to shift over to customer service, not realizing that they had that skill set. And yeah. I love this, Brent. This is your success stories. You've got all of these individuals who have landed jobs. You've got all the computers here, too, as well, Brent. So folks can get online. A lot of stuff has kind of moved online as far as resumes and uploading, that kind of stuff. And then we're over here. Where are we right now? This is our clothing area. So we provide clients with an interview outfit and then five days worth of clothes once they get a job. Five days worth five of clothes. Days. And so our goal is to provide a client with everything they need to go to work. You know, if you get a job in construction business, you're gonna have to have tools. You get a job at food and beverage, you gotta have non-slip shoes, black pants, food handlers, car, which you have to take online. So our goal is to get in there and help every client fill that void. Because getting a job is just a first step. And Brent, you said something too, that once you people land that job, you'll help them with bus, bus passes, transportation, that kind of stuff to make sure that they're able to get to their job. Yes, we provide bus passes for 30 days, up to 90 days. We provide gas cards. We have a wonderful relationship with QT, so we do a lot of gas cards. And so we provide that client with everything they need to get to work that first day, because that's the most critical point to moving forward is that first day to get Brent, to the job. Brent, this must be such a rewarding job for you because you have these individuals coming in here that want to work, they want to find a job, but they might not have the skills, the resources to be able to do that. What is it like for you to be able to, to offer that to people day in and day out? For me, it's a true blessing because you won't find many executive directors like myself that have lived experience. I've walked the shoes of our clients. You know, I've lived on the streets, I panhandled. You know, and for me, it's such a blessing when we bring that bell when a client gets a job, we ring a bell and I give them my business card and I tell them to call me if they ever need anything. And clients call me all the time. My cell phone, which everybody has, you know, but they'll call when they're struggling sure. or they'll call when they don't want to go to work. And we can connect them with someone that kind of help walk them through that process. All right. We've got just a second left, but if folks are out uh, at home watching this, maybe they know someone that needs help or they themselves need help. How do they get in touch with you, Brent? Go to our website sjwjobs.org or they can call 844-SJW-JOBS or they can just come to our offices between 8.30 and 3.30. So we're open all day, ready to serve. Okay, we'll put all that information on our website. They've got locations across the valley that you can come into. They'll get you on your feet, get you out the door, and get you a new job. Uh, we'll send all that, we'll put all that information on our website and we'll send it back to you. Ty, quick question for you. Uh, what if someone out there is doing some spring cleaning and they have like business attire? Are they still taking some donations? That is a great question, Brent. If someone's doing a little spring cleaning, can they donate clothes to you guys? Absolutely. Just go to our website. We have a Tailor Made for Success, which is our main boutique where we take clothing donations. Right. So we're always looking for clothing. Perfect. I got a couple of ties for okay, you. Good. I'll bring them down. <laughs> All right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Ty has ties. Ty, great job out there, buddy. Thank you.